up when they enter elementary school. That is the belief of many parents this afternoon. After the Department of Jobs and Family Services announced child care providers can no longer combine federal Head Start funds and state dollars when servicing children. This goes into effect next month. Dominique Ricks joins us now with the potential impact, don't? Danita and Rob, less funding means changes are coming. We spent the day at the Bingham Early Learning Center in Cleveland and met up with a working mother of a four year old boy. She says the lack of funding means her child may not get the best education nor the environment that he had just a few months ago. Under the enforced change, there's less money. Fewer dollars means something has to give. Now, it's not clear what as of yet. Possible areas to cut, hours or staffing. Right now, the Centers for Families and Children receives about $15 million in Head Start services. That money goes to fund more than 1,500 kids in Cuyahoga County. According to the Department of Jobs and Family Services, it's a move that could potentially save the state $12 million. Um, $12 million, you know, from our perspective, is really such a small amount of money compared to the overall state budget. And coming up at 5.30, we dig deeper into this story, hear from a parent in the Head Start program, and hear why the Department of Jobs and Family Services is cracking down. Danita?